The best way for me to show you what React on Rails is all about is for me to show you our tutorial. So I'm going to walk through these tutorial steps. You can find them here on GitHub. And we're going to take a look at through what happens when we run the tutorial. It's a really great way to understand everything that's going on in React on Rails. So the very first steps in the tutorial are going to be making sure your node environment is set up correctly. Then we'll make sure our Ruby environment is set up correctly. Then we're going to install Rails. We'll make sure we got the right Rails version. We're going to create a new Rails app. We'll CD into the Rails app directory. We're going to create a GitHub repository and we're going to commit everything because we want to make sure that when we run the generator, we can see um, exactly what changes. We're adding the gem React on Rails to our gem file. After we do this, we're going to need to run bundle. We're going to again commit this. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to run the generator. Here's the help for the generator. The main option you're going to want to pay attention to is the Redux option. So great, we ran the generator. Boom, bundle, got to run bundle and you got to run NPMI afterwards. This is going to install all the libraries that React on Rails needs. It's quite a few. Here are the files that we created. Great, we started up the app. Here we go. This is Hello World. It creates this. Wow, it was that easy. This app is created. So you notice here is the real JavaScript app. It's you type something and its page is reflecting it on the um, immediately in two places. You can go take a look at the um, the elements there, and when you look at the elements, what you're going to see is the um, the actual HTML that's generated by the JavaScript. This HTML is not in your app. It's it's not on your say it's not in your Rails app. It's it's not coming to the page. In terms of the page source, this is all dynamically generated HTML from the JavaScript library React. So what is what are we actually sending the browser? Let's take a look at the source code for doing this. So if we take a look at the source code, scroll down, we got some data on the page that's used for generating the component. And we have the component that is there and it's just one little um, line right there that shows you that's just what what you're going to see so if you take a look here we'll take a look at the layout here uh, excuse me the view and we're going to actually turn this over on the true so we'll go turn this to true and let's just see what happens in the um, source that we generate so this is we're turning on pre-rendering server which is server rendering so if we view the page source now we actually generated the HTML. So you might be wondering, you know, what is a server rendering business? Why do you want to generate that HTML on the server side? There's some reasons you might want to do this for SEO and maybe for performance, but it depends. You're taking performance of the client side app and you're putting it on the server side. So there you go. Over on the right hand side, you can see what's what's there is the um, part that is you know, really simple, the, it's just one line, the you know, React component, that's what we send to the browser. And what you see on the left-hand side is the server rendering. Hi, this is Justin. Thank you for watching my video, which give, gave you an overview of what happens when you use the React on Rails generator. There's so much more to learn. Please watch the other videos in this series, and please visit us at shockacode.com and let us know if we can help you out with your React project, with your React on Rails project, or your React Native project. Thank you so much.